time travel? Hollywood science fiction? Or is it? I have physically traveled in time. Andrew Bashago is not acting. We have. We did over 40 years ago. Fascinating. The Vancouver, Washington attorney is on a mission to reveal what he calls a 40-year government cover-up of Project Pegasus. Anyway. Where he says he was teleported back and sideways in time, dozens of times. It would be a fascinating project. I have the whole story. I have hundreds of facts. I can tell you what personnel were at what locations where which time travel device was being used. And his time travel wasn't recent. It was when he was a kid. I entered the program officially in the fall of 1969 as a third grader, age seven. One of 140 kids, 60 adults, chrononauts as he calls them, including his dad, who joined him on his first jump. My dad held my hand and we jumped through the field of energy and we seemed to be moving very rapidly. But there was also a paradox. We seemed to be going nowhere at all. Hold on tight, son. The TV show Fringe aired a similar scene two years ago. Coincidence? Did it. There's paradoxes, unscientific claims, unbelievable stories and encounters on Earth and Mars. Meeting Barack Obama when the president was a teenager with a different name. Fascinating. Time traveling six times to the Ford Theater on the day President Lincoln was shot, but he didn't see it happen. And we're not done with Lincoln. In fact, during one probe, the one to Gettys the Gettysburg Address, I was dressed as a Union bugle boy. That's right, he was at the Gettysburg Address. He says this famous picture taken that day proves it. He says this bugle boy is him. It's the only visual evidence he provides for any of his travels. That's it. I was physically at Gettysburg. Crazy way to travel, spreading a man's molecules all over the universe. And what about that teleportation? He says Star Trek got it wrong. So Andy, I just got here via Star Trek teleportation, but that's not how you did it. No, in fact, if you had just arrived via quantum teleportation, the Star Trek method of teleportation, you would have collapsed as, uh, as a dead person. Bashago weaves his tale with such conviction, I thought he's either a psychopathic liar, lunatic, or the fastest thinking science fiction writer on Earth. A tunnel was opening up in time space, just like you'd have a cavity inside a soap bubble being blown by a child. And, and when that bubble closed, we had been repositioned elsewhere in time space on the, on the face of the Earth. Some would say Bashago is still living in a bubble, but he's put his professional reputation at risk claiming time travel isn't science fiction. He did it. Please, Spock, do me a favor, and don't say it's fascinating. No. But it is interesting. Matt Markovich, Como 4 News. It was hard for us to confirm any of Andrew's claims. Still, he says many out there say they believe Project Pegasus was real.